Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Codecraft Shop. My name is Selesh Kushwaha and in this course we are going to learn as how to download the setup for JetBrains Toolbox app. Then we will install and run JetBrains Toolbox app. We will get to know the benefits of JetBrains Toolbox app and then we will use uh, the Toolbox app. In order to do the setup you need to go to this JetBrains site and then you have to click on the download button in order to download the exe. So, so there are various benefits of using the toolbox app. One is to update quickly and easily. We can manage our JetBrains tools easily. Uh, we can update the plugins easily together with the ID. We can roll back and downgrade to any version. So it saves time and effort in maintaining the ID. The second feature is that we can get to know as what's new in the current release. From the toolbox app itself, we can go to you know various places in order to get the information so i will show all these details in the demo the third feature is like we can maintain multiple versions uh, side by side for the same application the fourth feature is that we can uh, open the project instantly without going to the id so we just open the toolbox app and through that you know we can navigate to any of the projects and it has a better integration with github gitlab or bitbug so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please go ahead and subscribe because it will help you in getting the latest updates whenever i upload so guys without wasting time let us start the So in order to download the setup, I have navigated to the JetBrains site and then I will click on download button. So once the setup will be downloaded, I will click on the installer and will try to install the software. I will click the installer and then click on install and then I will click on next button. I will click on next button and then if you see a pop up window will keep displayed and I will click on continue button. On the next screen I will select the agreement and then move forward I will select the theme so we can select either the system theme light or dark mode so I have selected the light theme and if you see uh, on my system IntelliJ ID commentary edition is already been installed and it is asking for updating the system so once I click on update so if you see uh, you know the downloading of the latest update is happening through the tool So we can get the latest what's new in to this IntelliJ Community Edition.
so if you see we have projects and services tab the latest update is installing so i click on the icon before the settings tab so it will give you the information about what this version of JetBrains is providing so we can check for the updates we can go to the settings then we have the login option in through which we can log in into the JetBrains account so in the settings we can have different options So the installation has been completed. So the installation has been completed and once I click on this row, IntelliJ ID Community Edition will be launched. 